Hello everyone, Cat Goblin or Martin here. So I'm back in Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Freights, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at every room that uses the Creepers soundtrack. <laughs> So yeah, that's the Creepers soundtrack. Not only am I looking at these rooms, but I'm going to be ranking these rooms on how creepy they are based on gameplay and mechanics. There are 7 rooms that use this soundtrack, so without further ado, let's rank these rooms. Starting off at number 7 is On Edge in the Hedge Part 3. This level uses the same soundtrack from when you're at the Mystery Machine, but when you go to the area where the ball made out of thorns is and let it chase you, then the soundtrack changes. After when the ball of thorns falls into a pit, then the soundtrack changes into the creeper's theme. The reason why it's number 7 is because the theme doesn't really make the level creepy. This level contains a zombie in an urn, 3 scarecrows, 2 spiders, and 5 statues. Next, at number 6 is Misbehaving Cause a Cave-In Part 3. In this level, you can find the Sonic Enhancement, as well as the heap of the deep patrolling over there near the pressure button. What makes this level creepy is the sea creature walking around with the creeper's theme playing in the background. And once you activate the pressure button, then the soundtrack changes, the water level rises, and you have to make your way to the top. That's all I have to say for this level, and it contains 2 sea creatures and 4 ghost divers. Also, these enemies can float on water. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
At number 5 is Cower in the Tower Part 1. In this room, you make your way to the top to reach the main door or to the top floor, and this is where you first encounter the tar monster. What makes this room creepy is the scenery and the monsters constantly making noises. It contains a tar monster, witch doctor, spider, a few bats, and two headless specters. <laughs> For number 4, we have Lighthouse Freight House Part 3. In this area, you jump off of sinking rowboats and rocks to collect Scooby Snacks and reach the exit pipe. The creepy part comes from the tar monsters who talk creepily and they can see you from a long distance. Um, is there anybody over there? This area contains three tar monsters, six crabs, a ghost diver, flying fish, and a caveman. Number 3 is Clamor in the Manor Part 2, and I have to say, the creeper popping out of the picture used to jump scare me when I was younger. Now when you first enter this room before you get the football helmet, the creeper does not pop out of his moving picture. There are two fireplaces, one leads you to a secret room, while the other is a quicker route to reach the next room. The only creepy part here is the moving picture and the creeper popping out. This room contains a rat, three headless specters, and of course, the creeper. 
Also, the Black Knight suit of armor can't prevent the creeper from popping out of his picture. <laughs> right! That's a headless nightmare! <laughs> At number 2 we have Chills and Spills on Haunted Hill Part 2. Once you enter this area and take a few steps forward, two zombies will jump out of the hedges on your sides and when they come out they're already aggressive so they will chase you. In this area you jump off the floating tables to reach the exit, but when you defeat the two zombies near the entrance you can still hear the zombies moaning in the hedges. Even the Black Knight armor can't prevent these guys from popping out, and I even managed to get two zombies to chase me further. This area contains four zombies, three statues, a scarecrow, and a witch. Last at number 1 is Creepy Crawlies in the Hallways Part 2. In this room you have to collect 4 keys that are hovering above bubbling cauldrons to unlock a gate that leads you to a hallway. There is also a huge pit and a secret exit in this room. When you get to the hallway, Shaggy will be locked in a cell and the zombie guarding the hallway is pretty much a joke, but the creepy part comes from after when you open the first two cells. The zombie in the right cell will walk out and patrol the hallway. Later on, he'll put his hands out and run while patrolling as if he spotted you. And yeah, I did review this berserk zombie in my enemy review. This room contains a gargoyle, two headless specters, and two zombies. Also, the zombies can't spot you if you're holding Shaggy. <laughs>
So yeah everyone, there you have it. Those are all the rooms that use the Creepers soundtrack in Skippy Doo Night of Hundred Frights. You'll probably see me revisit this game again, but like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next review.